Hello, Fermion friends. This week, we're going to talk about serverless functions and WebAssembly. I'm really excited about this topic because I think that WebAssembly as a cloud compute layer can really offer a lot to the world of serverless functions. So let's start by talking about serverless functions. Probably the first things that come to mind are uh, services like AWS Lambda or Azure Functions or Google Functions. But what exactly is a function? Well, the easiest way to dive into this is to compare it to a server. When we build a server in software, we're starting up a process, and it's a long-running process, and it handles many requests. A request comes in, it handles it, generates a response, and sends it back. Now, a serverless function is different in that it's not a long-running process. It's a short one that just handles one request. So a request comes in, the serverless function starts, handles that request, returns a response, and shuts back down again. One of the advantages of serverless functions is they're really easy to write. Another advantage of them is that they tend to scale really well. You just rely on the serverless infrastructure to scale your functions up and down depending on the load. Now, in the traditional serverless function architecture, they tend to be backed by virtual machines. And when they start up, it takes a little while to first ex begin executing your code. So let's say uh, you know we've got it, we've got the average serverless function, uh, and it cold starts. It takes around 200 milliseconds before it's warmed up and can start executing your code. Say your code takes about 50 milliseconds to run. That means your code is just running right here at the end, right? So there you go. Uh, you know, first 200 milliseconds is, is cold start time. Then that last little chunk of time is just your application running. Now, a seasoned web developer knows that uh, attention on the user side starts to wane right about the 100 millisecond mark, which means with serverless functions, if you're doing typical HTTP kinds of things with it, uh, you're always kind of fighting against the, uh, the user's tendency to sort of drift away and start paying attention to something else, right? Wouldn't it be nice if we could get it a little bit earlier than that 100 millisecond mark? That's one of the goals we've had while building Fermion Cloud, and we've been working to really optimize this cold start time for serverless functions. So here's where we're at right now, right? So here we go. This would be the starting line. It takes around two milliseconds for us to begin executing a WebAssembly module. So that's about that little sliver of time before your code is being executed. So say you've, we've got the same piece of code that's taking around 50 milliseconds. That means right around 52 milliseconds right there, uh, your code is returning its response and shutting down. So we've really only consumed that little tiny wedge of time to start up the WebAssembly runtime. Effectively, when we compare this, right, at a quarter of the time it takes to cold start in the traditional serverless function methodology, we've already returned the response and shut things back down again, well before we've hit that sort of 100 millisecond marker when the user's attention starts to wane. So that, I hope, gives you an idea about why we're so excited about the potential for WebAssembly to power serverless functions. That's all for this week. Talk to you again later. Bye.